Even though the weather hasn't shown it, spring is on our doorstep. And at that time, people start thinking about things to do around their yard, gardening and landscaping and a lot of other things that will beautify their home and their neighborhood as we head to the warmer weather months. Well, BCC has a program as part of the Center for Workforce and Community Education. It's part of their Energy and Sustainability Program. It's the Master Gardener Program. So those of you with green thumbs who want to, I guess, kick it up another notch, will be able to have an opportunity to get some extra training to become a top-notch Master Gardener. We're going to talk about the Master Gardener Program for a little while on uh, this week's show. I'm joined by Jennifer Vincent. She's from the uh, Workforce and Sustainability part of BCC. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me, Keith. What is the Master Gardener Program? So the Master Gardener Program has evolved quite a bit over the last um, three years since it first started. Um, it currently includes an eight-week foundation course for anyone, for your beginner, intermediate, or advanced um, Master Gardeners or gardeners who are interested in just learning something about gardening. Mm. So right now we have an eight week foundation course and then throughout the year we have advanced course topics and we're looking to create tracks because some people are interested in this piece, piece of gardening or this piece. Yeah. And we wanna make sure that we're meeting the needs of all of the, um, of the community. What's a typical student for, for, that would be interested in, in, this, in this program? So really, anyone who's interested in becoming more involved in the community, master gardeners are individuals who um, support the community, who go out and work in gardens, who provide education to individuals who want to learn more about gardening and start a garden in their backyard. Um, they work in school gardens, they work in many different places, but if you wanna be, uh, if you wanna be involved in the community and you love gardening, I would suggest become a master gardener. And also someone who is interested in being, uh, you know, interested in, in the environment, sustainability, that's a big topic, obviously at BCC and elsewhere. That would also be of, of interest to someone who has that, that interest as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So not only do master gardeners go out and serve the community, but they're interested in sustainability for mm -hmm. themselves, their families, and their lives. What are some of the topics that are, that are taught, say, in the foundation course? And then maybe talk a little bit about maybe some of those advanced courses that that some master gardeners can really delve into? Sure, so the foundation course is to give everyone a foundation of, um, of horticulture, of science, of soils, and the different p things that go along with it, composting. What are the basics that you need to then decide and move on to your advanced, advanced course topics or tracks that would help bring you down a path that you're comfortable and happy with? Right. And, and so after that, that would be part of the eight week foundation. Yes. And then there's advanced courses. What mm -hmm. do those touch upon? So let's say mm -hmm. you're really interested in fruits and berries and, and trees. You're gonna go down a path such as that. Let's say you really wanna know and learn more about composting. We have advanced courses in composting. We have advanced courses in backyard gardening. Mm -hmm different things that people would be interested in that they can learn more about to be able to support others in their you know, learning and knowledge. Now the Master Gardener program has been around for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, any stories you can share of some people who have gone through and what they've done? Well, we actually, yes. Yeah. So the first year when I joined, I wanna say it was 2014, um, I was working in the Fall River Schools and I had worked in some community gardens. And so when I made the transition to BCC and somehow the Master Gardener program fell into my lap, I thought, what a great connection. Mm. So I immediately contacted the schools we were working with and their gardens, had someone come in and present the volunteer opportunities, and we had some of our Master Gardener students that year work over the summer in the school gardens to help keep them up while students were out of school. That is a key component that part of the program uh, includes community service. You may have touched upon it before, but they need to actually use their skills to give back in the community before they're credentialed as being a master gardener, correct? Absolutely. So a big part of the master gardener is the community service piece. You know, we want people who are going through this training to be able to provide and share that knowledge with people in the community. So whether that's through supporting um, you know, a community or a school garden or through manning a hotline mm -hmm. through the Master Gardener Association and supporting people as they call in. Right now there's nobody to call. Right. Let's say your plant is, is dying and it's not that you need to water it, something else is going right. on. You'll have someone to call and answer those questions. All right, give us some dates and times when the foundation course is gonna start. 
at many of our BCC campuses, not just here in Fall River, correct? No, um, we actually, this in March, we're starting three different courses, or three course sections. We're running them in Taunton, and that starts March 7th. It's a Monday night. We're running it in Fall River on the Duval Street campus, and that is a Thursday night from 6 to 8.30. And we are also starting for the first time in Attleboro at our mm. Attleboro location. And that starts March 19th. It's a Saturday morning from 9 to 11.30. So exciting things. Yeah. And it's always good to talk about gardening. It means spring is coming yes, up, right? Yes, yes, yes. Even though the groundhog was wrong. Right, she, that's right. Again. Jen, Jen Vincent, thank you for your time. I appreciate right. it. Thanks for having me, Keith. Thanks.